So once we click Generative Expand, you'll see that it did open our Properties menu over here. And that's important because this is where the generated artwork will show up. It will also add these controls on your image at the sides and at the corners to expand the bounds. And you can just go ahead and click and drag those in one direction if you like. You can also hold down Alt on Windows or Option on Mac to go ahead and equally expand that in two directions. Or if you hold Alt or Option plus Shift, you can expand in all directions at once. And then if you do have specific dimensions that you want to generate to, you can go ahead and just type in dimensions in your properties panel here, which is really handy for specific ratios. Okay, so the prompt window is empty here because I'm not changing anything except generating some extra art on the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And once that's done, what you'll see is these variations over here in our properties panel where you can click through to see what they look like and choose the one that fits best with the style you're going for. Once you are happy with the variation you've selected, you can click done. And I just wanna show you what happens in our layers panel here. Now, the original artwork on the first layer actually hasn't been touched at all. The generated vectors all appear on the top layer here, but if you turn the visibility off for the generated vectors, you'll see that the original illustration is completely intact with all of the elements. So this is a non-destructive feature. I'll turn the visibility back on and Illustrator does even label that for you. If I expand here, you can see that it is labeled as the generative object. And then we've got the regular groups that were already there. Now, if I select my generative object, I will see a new option pop up here on my contextual taskbar called combine. I'm going to go ahead and click that and it's just going to give you a warning here that this will change your layer structure and certain objects won't combine well like custom brushes or raster effects, things like that. So you can choose combine and make a copy, which is the less destructive option. Or if you're feeling confident, you can go ahead and click combine and just note that that will change your original artwork. 